Hi guys, uh, this is a continuation of a previous video I've done which is talking about command prompt basics and um, I was explaining about files and folders. Now I haven't ma I managed to go over, uh, well just under 10 minutes so I'm going to continue with this now. Now what we just did was do um, changing folders, uh, viewing folders, in, uh, viewing files and folders in a directory and, um, uh, and uh, uh, changing drives and things like that. Now, what I'm going to show you is um, file manipulation, so things you can actually do with your files. So what I've, got, what I've got is I've just got it continued exactly from where I left off. I'm going to go into my desktop, so I'm going to say docu star, cd dun star, so we're going into document the settings Duncan and then cd desk star, and we're now in desktop. Now, I've just got my AVI video that I've just recorded on the first basics one, so if I say dir, it shows me the command basics here. And um, if I was to, I don't know, if I make a random text file on my desktop and call it b.txt. Now, you can actually do file manipulation on in your CMD box. So I could uh, rename this file, delete it, copy it, uh, duplicate it, I think, make it something else. Um, I could also do things uh, where the output, you'll see when I say DIR, it shows you volume and drive C, blah, 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 blah. Um, I can actually get it to uh, put that into a file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sh uh, show you some stuff that I'm going to do with this B file. Uh, so you'd, if I did a DIR, you'll notice that the B here is .text. Now, if I want to delete it, I just say del B .text. Simple as that, and then you'll notice that the B has gone from here. Now I need to make it again, so I'm going to make a new file. Um, now before we could, um, before editors came out where you could edit all your files and things like that, in the very very early DOS days, uh, like three and under. Um, you had to type something called copycon and then type the file name that you want to make and that basically means start a new file b.txt and then it just press it you can just press enter and then it will show um, you can then start typing now the thing is with this because we didn't have editors you c once you've made a line and you pressed enter you can't go back and edit it so I'm going to type in um, I don't know uh, this is a test file so now I press enter I can't press up and it can't go back and you notice this, so it's actually start b.txt. Now if I press Control Z, it says one file is copied, and if I open it in Windows, it says this is a test file. Now, what if I wanted to view the contents inside uh, CMD? So what if I wanted to see what's in b.txt? I just type, type, and I say b.txt, and it says this is a test file. So it says what's in b.txt. Now you might not want to do this, if I did this with this AVI file, it'll come up with a load of characters and then um, beep at me and stuff, so um, it's best to do it just with text files or documents or anything like that, that's just got text in it. Now, what if I were to rename this b.txt to another name? All I say is ren, which is short for rename, and then I'll say ren b.txt, which is the first the, the file we're renaming, and then call it c.txt and uh, it doesn't show anything output but it shows here that I've actually changed it to c.txt and um, what I could actually do, if you want to do more than one command here and you want to do it all automatically you have to make something called a batch file now it usually ends in .bat so what I'm going to do is, I'm, firstly I'm going to make a text file and it's going to contain uh, dir, so if I say copy con um, call it dir.txt and in it, I'm going to type a command. I'm going to say dir slash w. Yes, yeah, dir slash w. And control z it to come out of it. One false copied, and we've got dir.txt. Now, this is actually a command. Now, if you want to do more than one command, um, you can uh, just put it underneath or whichever. And um, you can actually make a batch file. And that what that does is do several files. And you can do a lot more things with that. You can have like user choices and things like that. So you can, pre you can say press y to rename a file, or press n or something, press enter. But anyway, um, I want to be able to rename it um, to a batch file, so I need to change the extension of it. Now, um, usually in Windows you just right click it and do it, or, or you might not even be able to if you don't have extensions enabled. So um, I'm just going to say ren b.txt, so we're using the same rename thing as we did, and I'm just going to say, uh, I'll just say dir. Dot, oh no, this uh, dir.txt isn't it, sorry, dir.txt dir.bat and it would just basically change the extension from text to bat and if I uh, press, if I move this over and press enter you'll notice that that's now changed so that's very good if you want to um, be able to do anything like that and um, now it's the batch file, I can run it, obviously it won't stay open, it'll flash up 
um, it, it, it does a directory listing. Or, as it's a batch file inside here, if I dir it, say dir.bat, um, if I was to start it saying dir.bat, it will run that batch file. And you'll notice it's done dir slash w here. And then. So you can also do this with executables. If, you, if I was to go into cd.dot, dot, dot, cd.dot, dot, dot, cd.dot, dot, 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 uh, cd dot, dot, and go into the Windows uh, directory, obviously I could have done cd slash then I could be bothered. If I was to go into the Windows directory and, do, and try and list all the files with the file of dot .exe, which is executable, and then do slash w to make it easier to read. You'll notice that these are all the files here. Now, because th these are Windows files, if I was to type something like, I don't know, uh, win help, you'll notice this can't be Windows help. Now, some of them won't work. If I was to type in MS Paint, oh no, it does work. <laughs> uh, MS Paint. Now, um, sometimes you may have to type start and then type MS Paint, which basically means start it in Windows and it will do it. But it looks like you can do it anyway. So the things you can type into the run box, I think, are actually being typed into here. So if I was to type MS Paint here, it does it as if it was in a in a uh, command prompt, and then it opens up Paint. So anyway, um, uh, I digress. <laughs> um, uh, what else can I show you? Uh, if you want to set, off, I'll go back to this uh, dir bat. So what was I in? I, I want to go cd c documents and settings. Show you desktop. Uh, no, Duncan and desktop. So you can see that I've actually put in CD and I've put in the full um, full uh, address of where I want to go and press enter and you'll see it's now changed to it. So I'll do another DIR and you notice I've got dir.bat and the avi file I've made previously. Now what if I want to set dir.bat to hidden? Uh, all I need to do is use the attrib command attrib and I'm going to say space dir.bat and I'm going to say plus h plus h means plus hidden so if I press enter you notice that has now changed to hidden and well, to set it back you can actually if you want to go back to a command you've done up here or anything you've done previously you just press the up button and you can see it's all the all commands I've done previously so I'm just going to delete this and I'm going to press up and I'm going to press down now so I can get back to the attrib command there we go and I'm just going to put on the end minus h press enter and you'll notice that that's now gone back to unhidden. So you can, there's various things you can do. Again, you can type a trib and then slash and then a question mark. And you can find out all the things you can do with the attrib command. So plus sets it, minus clears it. You can say read only, archive, system, hidden. And then you can do processes matching files in the current folder and all subfolders, processes folders as well. Um, uh, there's some other commands, let me think. X copy. Uh, which I've shown is as a shortcut because what I've done is um, in previous videos I've shown shortcuts and inside those shortcuts I've done DOS commands because you can, it, there's a command that enables you to do these sorts of things in a shortcut, window shortcut so you might want to check that out because I've got things like in, like copying uh, synchronizing with a uh, pen drive or something like that, overwriting files and things like that but X copy copies multiple files basically uh, copies files in directory trees so if I was to say X copy the C drive to the D drive um, then it will copy the entire contents of the C drive and the D drive and it will overwrite and things like that um, but you need to make sure you have, I think it's slash C um, no that's continuous copy of errors occur, which one was it? there is a, uh, a slash command that you did to make it to ensure it copies subdirectories as well um, there you go, slash E, yeah that was um, slash everything, copies directories and subdirectories including empty ones so because um, this is ideal because if you have um, if, if I have see I have my avi file and my batch file and I want to copy both of them into a folder um, I don't want to have to say copy dir.bat because um, that's what you can do I haven't shown you the copy have I alright first thing I'm going to make a directory I'm going to call it test md make directory test I'm going to copy dir.bat into it dir.bat test one file is copied double click test dir.bat is now in there now I'm going to go into it and delete it. Dir, it's in here. Del dir dot bat. Oops. Go into here and it's gone. And then I'm going to go cd dot dot to go up one level and rd test, which is remove directory. And now the directory has gone. So um, you notice I did a copy command. Uh, where was it? Uh, uh, copy, yeah, copy dir.bat.test. Now, if you want to do, oh, I'll have to stop now. I'm going to continue this. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Please rate, comment, subscribe.